know how to properly bag Raleigh County Schools student devices during collection. Students will receive the same device in the fall that they turn in during collection. Devices should be stored alphabetically by grade level in a secure location. 12th, 8th, and 5th grade student devices will be reissued to 9th, 6th, and kindergarten students, respectively. First, all devices and chargers should be cleaned prior to the collection. There will be a charge to remove stickers, tape, or decorations from the devices. Devices are to be charged and left powered on. The technician will shut them down. The technician assigned to the building will deliver check-in sheets, two gallon sized bags for each device, along with two sets of labels for each student with name, Weavis number, and grade. This year both sets of labels are the same size. One label is for the check-in sheet and should be placed to the right to allow for the asset number to be written in. The asset number will be recorded by the technician when the device is turned in. It should not be filled in ahead of time. The second label will go on the outside of the two gallon bag. The bags from last year can be reused and the label placed on top of the old label. By covering the old label, no one has to search through the bags looking for a particular student's bag used last year. If using a new bag, the label should be placed on the top right corner of the two gallon bag. The device should be placed in the two gallon bag with the check-in sheet on top of the device visible from one side and the asset number on the other side. The charger and cord should be neatly wrapped and placed to the side of the device in the bag. Do not place the charger on top or beneath the device. The iPad should be packaged the same way. Check-in sheet on top, asset number visible on bottom, and charger to the side. A few other notes. When stacking, Please alternate so the charging blocks are not stacked on top of one another. Also, your sysop or designee should separate visibly broken devices from devices that have no evidence of being abused. We hope this video is helpful as you prepare for device collection.